Soft Cell Laboratories has opened up a premier testing facility in southern Utah. Located in the industrial park in St. George, Soft Cell's timing couldn't be better. The research clinical laboratory has shifted into gear and is now testing for the coronavirus. By collecting both nasal swab samples and saliva at the same time, the founder of the company said they have more accurate determination of detecting COVID-19. So the standard test is the nasal swab, which really ends up in a little vial like this. And what we do is we have the Thermo Fisher protocol, which identifies active virus in your nasal cavity. Um, that's the most accurate test to date. But what we've been introduced to is a saliva test that was validated at Rutgers University. And as it turns out, it looks as if saliva has as much COVID virus in it as your nasal cavity. And so with that, this is a much easier test to give. It's something that we can ship out easily. And then once the virus is in this tube, it's actually inactivated. Some of those samples are collected directly from people using the drive-through testing method after making an online appointment. But Hunt said the majority of samples will eventually come from physicians or medical centers who want tests conducted on their patients prior to having surgeries. We're going to serve a lot of the local surgeons. Uh, the state of Utah has given a two-week window for surgeons uh, to perform elective surgery if they can prove they're doing it safe. We can turn that around in 24 hours. So simply put, if once someone tests, we can see if there's active virus. If they self-isolate, they're careful about who they come in contact with. Technically, they're going into surgery tomorrow as a cleared individual and, and likely those surgeries will go well and far better than if they're not tested at all. Hunt said a clinical trial to detect these side-by-side -side methods will be more accurate than an antibody blood test, which is designed to determine whether you had the virus or not. Uh, many people talk about the antibody test. The antibody test right now is only 30 to 40 percent accurate and so until there's a accurate antibody test, we're just going to test for active virus. While Soft Cell Labs has the capability to do antibody testing, Hunt said they are waiting for a more reliable protocol before they decide to add that test. With one of the fastest turnaround times in the country, Hunt said they eventually want to work into rapid testing. So if we can validate the Rutgers study, that's going to be extremely valuable to rapid testing and overnight delivery. So once the sample hits our lab door, we can process that in 24 hours and have a result. Um, that's about as fast as any lab can do it. Soft Cell Labs is currently accepting insurance. However, if someone doesn't have access, the cost is $100. This also allows the client to become part of their research study. The added bonus is that those who test positive for COVID are eligible to be tested each week for free in the future. Soft Cell Labs will begin taking between 500 to 1,000 samples a day and ramp up production over the next few weeks. The new lab already has enough equipment to take in up to 15,000 samples a day. The public-private partnership with Dixie State University will continue to grow its blood sampling protocols once the COVID virus pandemic dissipates. So with that, we think that there's a good possibility that this blood sample could give us far more answers than these other two tests. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.